said that football players weren't the best athletes? Who said that? Were, 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 you, were you saying that? Nah, you, you big tripping, boy. Are you dumb? You look so dumb. <laughs> You cannot tell me that football players are not the best athletes. Today's player is not only a four-star receiving prospect, but he is also the fastest man in the country when it comes to the 200. And oh yeah, he's faster than you say, Bolt. Yo, what's good here, everybody? Hope you're having a blessed day, and welcome back to Sharp Sports. And today, we're taking a look at the 6'3", 170-pound four-star receiver out of Hillsborough High School in Tampa, Florida, Arian Knighton. This past weekend, at only 17, might I add, Arian Knighton broke Usain Bolt's 18-year youth 200-meter record by running a 20.11-second 200-meter. And thank you to Total Running Productions for the idea for this video. First link in the description. Be sure to go check out my guy's channel. All right, that's good. This is enough of this intro. This intro's been long. Enough. Let's take a look at the fastest man in the 200 at only 17 years old, Arian Knight, and see what he's looking like on the field. Three, two, one. All right, let's take a look and see what the fastest man in the 200 is looking like. Got him on defense first play. Yeah, get him up out of there. Let's go. Big hit. So, man, being a 200 guy. I like the tenacity my boys got. Let's go. So right now he's 6'3", 170. I mean, when, you, when this guy gets up and goes, he is gone. And he's a 200 guy, not just a 100 guy. So he has phenomenal, phenomenal top end speed. This dude, you're going to be wanting to run post, post corners with this dude all day, every day. Look at him. Get up and uh, gone. What? You thought you'd catch me? Nope. Bye. Too fast. Way too fast. I mean, just look at the little, look at the little footwork here, here at the, this right here, just bow. It's literally one step and it's straight to the slant. Cause look at how much cushion this guy has to give him. Cause he knows like, bro, I'm, I'm going to get just absolutely burned over the top if I don't. Let's go. And he, he plays strong. Like he reminds me of a mix between Devonte Smith and Jalen Waddle. Like he's got the top end speed like Jalen Waddle, but he's built more like Devonte Smith but just taller. Yeah, no, this this dude, right now he's projected to go to Florida. So, hey, you uh, Florida Gator fans, if you if you guys get this dude, and he, like, he's got that dog in him, bro. Yo, get him down, let's go. Yo. Bro, he was absolutely getting guys up out of there. It's just funny, because normally you don't see, like, the, the real top end track dudes, you don't really see them also being like the super aggressive guys. Normally, they, yeah, they play receiver, but they're normally don't don't hit me. Come on, I, I ain't trying to get hit like that. Now this dude, this dude play football, right? I will be interested though because I mean, comment down below for all for all of you guys who who are um, two sport athletes in track and in football. Way to get up there! Let's go! Way to climb the ladder! But for all my guys out there who are track who are track athletes and football athletes. Say you were like, oh, sit him down. Say you were like a three-star recruit and you're going to like a mid-major school. Or you can go D1, you're a top five prospect in, in track. Which one would you take? Let's go. Me personally, I, I mean, I, I was just never that great at track. So I was always football through and through. But man, I can see why. I mean, this dude's like Olympic level fast. Like not like, oh, I'm kind of like, no, he's like Olympic level fast. And he runs great routes too. I mean, he's just he's a very just fluid player overall. Way to come back to the ball. Yup, we're going the other way with that. Yo, also comment down below if, if did you guys do any of you guys have a, a call that you make on on defense whenever there is an interception? We used to always say Oski. I don't know why. I don't know what it means. That's just what we say. We always say Oski, 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 and that's just to let us know like we got an interception or we got a fumble recovery. We're going the other way with it. Comment down below what what you guys say. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where was he? Oh, he was up up top up here. Bro, he is sitting these kids down, bro. He's like, if you if you ain't pack your lunch, then get up out of here. Nice break. So on, on something like this, I think he could even get up a little bit more on this guy's toes, especially because 
as a receiver, you always got to remember, you're not always just playing for the, the play right now. You're, you're playing for plays future down the line. So if you really get up on his toes and then you break down, oh, my bad. If you, if you really get up on his toes and then you break down and come back towards the ball, that's going to help you create that much more separation. Because this dude, he's just playing super soft coverage. Ooh, like, the acceleration, bro. When you get to, I, I see, when you get them wheels turned, it's hard to stop you. But like I was saying, you really want to run up on the corner's toes and force them to bail out and then you can stop and come back towards the ball because I mean you're, you're already going to be ahead of the timing just because of how fast you are for like high school play so as long as you're really getting up on the dude's toes and then you're breaking off your routes you're gonna be money I mean way to get a field yeah they, they're giving you so much space because they have to there you go Dip on them, just dip on them. Bye bye. Yup, come back. Effortless speed, bro. Like you're just not, you're not catching up to him, bro. Ten. This dude one ran twenty one one in the two hundred. Ooh, ooh -hoo -hoo! yo, a little shake and bake action, yo. He said, yeah, a swoop, yo. If that dude, if oh man, if he if he was able to get that guy to let go of his shoulder pad, he would have been gone. I really would love to see if this, if uh, Arian can get off of press coverage, because if if you could get a hand on him and you could you could get him rough him up at the line of scrimmage and you could really stop his top end speed because you never let him get into his route fully. However, the downside is if you mess up, he's going to be get by you and then you're never going to catch him. So it's basically touchdown or stop him on that half of the on that half of the ball. So you give and take. Effortless speed. Let's go. We, we saw that from a different angle. That Like, bro, this dude gets up, bro. Big bunnies. Yeah, I'll take that. Off your head tops, my guy. Let's go. Yeah, man, it's just, if we even, I'm big time leaving. You, you ain't got to think twice about that. Just throw it up. Little comeback screen. Oh, that ball has to be out there earlier. But he still, he still makes it happen. Let's go. So that is what the new fastest youth 200 meter champion Arian Knighton is looking like on the field. Like I said, Arian is the prime time athlete. I mean, for you to be a four star receiving prospect and then on top of that, be the literal fastest man in your main event, bro. The homie is the perfect mix. I, I hope he plays football because we need guys who are this type of fast in the NFL. However, I trust me, I 100% get it if he decided to go and play track or not play track. You run track, to go run track, cause dude has Olympic level speed. But comment down below, I wanna hear from you guys. Do you think that Arian should be in the track world or do you think he should stay in the football world? All right, Jeff, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Leaving a like means way more than you will ever understand. It helps out with the algorithms and it just lets me know that you guys are rocking with the video. So please, if you haven't already, be sure to leave this video a like. Also, be sure to comment down below any other ballers that y'all want me to take a look at. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you never miss any of the Muy Fuego videos that we drop on the channel. But with all that being said, I love and appreciate all of y'all. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.